We're coming home from Boston one day. As soon as we got close enough, we could hear the magic show, Mr. Magic and Molly Ma. And we hear this, you know, the impeach beat being used in a different way. And one of the lines, I think she says, my bodyguard something. And automatically they took offense and they were like, oh, no, he didn't. Da, ba, ba. Like, you got to diss her. And I was like, me? And it was like, yeah, because you a girl. We can't, we're not going to be able to get away with that. I was like, yeah, I got to diss her then. You, know, like, <laughs> you got I'm amped just, up. You got, yeah. yeah, I'm like, what, 17, 18? And so um, em- we just did a show, a whole run in Boston, went to Skippy's record store, all of that stuff, drove all the way back home, heard the record, and went straight to INS on Mary Street to the studio. We probably got there two o'clock in the morning, recorded this song. Back then, Giz wanted to be an engineer, but he wasn't really. He made a mistake and got rid of all the vocals. So I had to do all the vocals oh all God. over again. I was like, <laughs> but anyway, now he's like a sought after mixer. People love for him to mix stuff. Just not that day. He wasn't ready. <laughs> but in any case, I put it down. We put it out. And of course, the whole camp over there was upset. And the then name they, of the song was called 10%, 10% Dis. 10% Dis. 10% Dis. Is this Hot Damn Ho? Yeah. Oh, my God. You know God. where, where um, Little Kim does it yep. on uh, Quiet Storm? Mm-hmm. To hear that mm-hmm. years later, mm-hmm. did you smile? Uh, Yeah. I thought yeah. it was... I thought it was homage. I thought mm-hmm. it was paying homage, and yeah. for another Brooklyn girl mm-hmm. to do it. Um, and then Foxy. And then Foxy. <laughs> right after. And there was another. And it was a beef. It was a beef. <laughs> there you go. So ten percent. This is yeah. that dynamic. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That of a song. Um, at that point, did you hear any feedback from Herbie's side? Yeah, I mean, they, I think they was a little pissed because then she came with lights out. Right. And and then I had to come with what I came with. And uh, that was shut the F up. <laughs> it's just so silly, right? Um, but anyway, did it feel Antoinette and I. Real at, in the, at, at the, the moment? Bars, like, did it feel the like. The bars was. was so vicious. Vicious. Yeah, it was, it was killer. It was killer type stuff. But to me. It all lived on the wax. Like I, if I saw her, what was I gonna do? You know, like did y'all ever? It was never we like that. We saw way. each other one time at the World, and it was a huge music something that I think it might have been during the new music so new music seminar. Mm-hmm. And we came in, and I didn't know she was gonna be there. It could have been a setup on my management's part because I didn't know she was gonna be there. Um, and I only think of that because they were like, come on, light, do it, do it. So we get up on the stage and she says something and then I say something and then the whole crowd, you know, goes for me only because I had more records out. They had built an affinity towards MC Light already. So I'm only, I'm like two, two records deeper Hmm. than her, which caused the crowd to, you know, part with me wanted to be on my side but years later I we wish do, that was on camera I know I, I, wish, I was just about this to this is say, one of the biggest not... battles because they dope so they both are so dope I was learning from these two yeah. mm. and this is one of the most dopest battles you know from that time mm. and even to now